Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. I'm getting awesome! You're getting awesome! We're getting awesome! Yeah, that's what I said now! Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast. We're back. It's episode 64. 64. 64, guys. 64. 64. With us, uh, I, I'm Mike Sorg, because I like to inter- introduce myself. Introduce yourself? I'm introducing myself. <laughs> yes. How are, you, how are you, Mike? That's how this show is going to go. How are you, Mike? Uh, I'm fine, Good. Shashi. How was I'm, your week? I'm doing great. My week has been tremendous. Awesome. Tremendous. You know, that's kind of, kind of a, a misnomer, because it's only Tuesday. I think it's the week since we've last yes, met that's, as that's a whole. That's what I counted as on Skype. Uh, okay. Like, how have you been since the last time we've met in this fashion? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Even though we the, talk to each other all. Yes, the time. right. Uh, the questioning <laughs> soul on the monitor is Mr. Rob De La Creta. How you doing? <laughs> You're like so rested. <laughs> uh, oh, what's happening? Hi. I don't know. How you doing? I'm introducing you. He's how, oh, hi. Hi. How was your week, Rob? That was my week. No, are we referring to the the, the week since you last saw? No, me? I only want to. I want to only want to know how your Monday and Tuesday's been. Oh, my Monday and Tuesday. Uh, well, I had Monday off, <laughs> so I haven't had a day off uh, in a long, long time, and I got Friday and Monday off mostly because uh, my boss had to do something else. Um, <laughs> That's exciting. It is exciting. Uh, you know, it is exciting. Really, actually, not kidding. Exciting though. Uh, I was talking to somebody. Oh. First exciting thing, I was talking to somebody. Um, <laughs> I was and, socializing, and... and and this person listens to the awesome cast. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not just us. I don't know if you knew that, but people actually listen to the show. Really, really? Yeah. Like people that haven't actually been on the show actually listen to the show? Because yeah, people who that are hard to people who are not in the chat room. Oh yeah. Who are not in the city of Pittsburgh? Okay. That's a lie. No, nah, it's no. I don't That's believe an you. outright lie. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Who are not even in the state of Pennsylvania. What? Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me they're in Nebraska. They, <laughs> <laughs> they don't do podcasting in Nebraska. It's against the religion, right? <laughs> um, Those Mormons. So, um, uh, uh, but yeah, so people listen to the show. Uh, quote, unquote. Uh, they've laughed sincerely each time that they've watched slash listened to it. Awesome. Awesome. Because of something you did or something that we did as a collective? Something we did as a collective, I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can't be this Nebraska. I was going to congratulate you. That's why I was asking. Well, I mean, I contributed, but so did you. So okay. congratulations all around. There you go. Now on the couch is Chachi. Hi, guys. Hi, Chachi. Hi. How you doing? I'm all right. Where do you live? I live uh, in Nebraska. No, wait, no. Look, seriously, I live. <laughs> For those right, on audio, he right, has right there. Really? Is that right? Yeah. Oh yeah, because that's Carrick. Okay. Right and then where where are we? And we are. Oh, I thought you. <laughs> no, I didn't do here. Oh, we're. Um. <laughs> For those on audio, he has right a here. shirt of the of the we're over here districts. Put it on the camera. <laughs> I thought I did. We're right there. All right. He has a, he has a, a city of Pittsburgh with all, the, nice. all the different uh, uh, areas. So, yeah. So if you're ever with them and he asks where you're from, just point at his shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. He did that while we were eating dinner. I did. I did. So, and he said he was going to make me do it everywhere now. Yep. Anytime I'm wearing So shirt. when you meet Chachi at the meet and greet for Podcamp Pittsburgh, you can show him where you live in the city. Just do it gently. You gently don't. Like, I don't want you to walk up to me and just start jabbing me in the chest and be like, I live there. Because that'll hurt after a while. <laughs> it has a shirt uh, contributed by Commonwealth Press. Yes. Here's mm-hmm. plug since we're talking about it. Yeah, um, yeah sorry, <laughs> Rob. Uh, anyways. <laughs> we, I feel like we've had that conversation about that shirt before. We probably have. Uh, yeah, about, probably. Um, if you... Orcposters.com is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Alright right, guys, so this is the Awesome Cast. You can find us at awesomecast.com. You can hit us up at awesomecast or contact at awesomecast.com. And uh, you, you can also call us at 724-258-CAST. 724-252-278 for all your feedback on this show. And let us know that we made you laugh. 
or didn't. Yes. Yeah. Whatever or, the case may be. Listen, if we made you laugh or we insulted you somehow, let us know. <laughs> And we, I mean, let's be honest, we don't insult many people. Right. Nebraskans. Right. <laughs> um, Sony. I think Amish sometimes. And there, there is only, what did I say, there's, uh, there's a million people in Nebraska? Something yeah, like one, that. One, like point, 1. 1.2. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's not a lot. Yeah, we were actually looking up the stats for Nebraska yeah. today. We want to know what we're <laughs> Dab of Tech about. in the chat room said we went to, from zero to Nebraska in 60 seconds. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we didn't even get to any news yet. Nope. But right. what do you actually achieve? By getting to Nebraska. Nothing. <laughs> I'm glad we got this out of the way. Hey, we do have... Oh, no. No, no? we decided last week no. this is an ongoing thing. We're not getting anything out of the way. That's right. <laughs> All right, we do have a, a, a submitted story by somebody that has been on the show. Um, AJ emailed us, and he said, uh, A note to cable cutters, make sure you pay for your Hulu if you want your shows with the quickness. Uh, did we talk about Fox doing this before, where they're going to start delaying stuff on Hulu unless they prove that you are subscribing the cable or uh, have Hulu Plus? No. Did we not touch on this? I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, it looks like ABC is getting ready to follow along with them. Oh. Yes. Um, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, Chachi, you're maybe, interested. Maybe you should buy cable now. Just throw that out there. I already pay for Hulu Plus, so. Uh, um, but yeah. Uh, how, much, how much is Hulu Plus? Seven ninety nine. A month. A month. So it's pretty much like buying another Netflix. Yeah, it's TV. like buying second Netflix. Yeah, yeah, and I, I mean, I already basically buy it for the access on my Xbox, and this is another reason. Unfortunately, it feels like a kind of created reason. I almost feel like I should scrap my Netflix subscription that I hate so much for uh, Hulu Plus. Really? You think you would get more out of it? Because, I mean, you don't get more from movies. That's for sure. Um, you know, I don't watch a whole lot of movies. Do, do, do you watch a lot of TV? I don't. Well, I, like, pretty much canceled my cable. But um, I watch a lot more, like, shows. Okay. But the thing, like, I can't get things like Top Gear on Hulu Plus. Yeah. But I I can get things, like, is, is uh, Parks and Recreation on Hulu Plus, for example? I believe they are. Uh, well, you gotta also watch some of the. Well, Hulu Plus or uh, Parks and Recreation is, um, but some things on Hulu are not on the Hulu Plus thing, so mm. you won't get it on your devices. Like I can't watch my wrestling on there. I can't watch Community, Chuck, anything from USA. It seems. Really? On where? Mm -hmm. What's that? On where? On like on my Xbox on Hulu Plus. Yeah. I mean mm. that's been really annoying, but I understand why. But it's still kind of feels like it devalues what you know paying for the stuff you know what like company that. upsets me when it comes to that stuff hmm. cbs cbs uh, cbs because ups... they don't put anything anywhere no i mean we were talking about that before and how i yeah, i used to watch how i met your mother and you're watching it currently i take it yeah i watched um and it's i fall out of it because i couldn't keep up with you know they put up maybe two episodes at a time and, if that and yeah and if, it's not if that and it's only on their website or fan yeah. cast yeah exactly which is so i mean come on right it's um, weak is what it is it's weak but now what they're going to do is uh abc and, and fox are going to delay the episodes even longer i believe up to i think in some cases like they're, i know fox, said eight days eight days yeah. fox was already delaying stuff eight days like house has been eight days uh fringe some of that other stuff so i guess they're going to do this for everybody else and if you're on hulu plus it's going to be next day right like we were kind of used to so, and ABC is going to follow suit. Now, this is interesting to me because this is Fox. This is something that I can get TV for free on my antenna. And they're going to offer, you know, this rewatch as a premium on these services? I guess so. <laughs> was that a question? That, that yeah, was a I, question. That I was a... I don't know what you're looking for. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking for those donuts. He's yeah. still looking for those donuts. All right, all right. Let's move on. Well, that was that's what uh, AJ had. Hey, thanks, AJ, for uh, for <laughs> fine. What what streams? <laughs> all right, read that one. <laughs> Chill in the chat room says that you uh, could stream it to Nebraska in less than eight days using Win ninety eight and two bound together fifty six K modem. <laughs> I had a double bound fifty six K modem back in the day. Oh wow. Binding fifty six K modems over two phone lines oh, so you yeah. could download something at an amazing forty kilobits per second. 
Yeah, those were the days I did that. I, I got it off of eBay, and 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 we got the second service, and had to, I think we had to switch providers because the one didn't didn't uh, support it originally. But that second line always kept getting knocked off. Yeah. 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 So, okay, the big news for this week, Google buys Motorola. Yeah, how about that news? How about that going on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chachi's just, like, going to be apathetic to every story this week. Well, they bought, let's let's clear up that, uh, that news title there, Mike. They didn't exactly. buy Motorola, they bought yeah. Motorola Mobility. Yes. yes. Now, now, define what is Motorola Mobility versus Motorola. Uh, Motorola is the very large company that uh, makes a habit of acquiring other not so large companies. Um, Motorola makes a lot more things than phones and tablets and stuff like that. They make uh, general electronics devices. They make, uh, for instance, a lot of the scanners, uh, like product scanners you'll see in stores. Those are made by Motorola. Kind of like how IBM does POS devices and everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but Motorola Mobility is the entire game plan for every mobile device that Motorola currently manages. Now, I was curious, because one of the... I was listening to... Uh, I think This Week in Tech was talking a lot about this. Or, or it could have been TNT, actually. Um, but they were talking about cable boxes and Google TV. That's not the division. No. Like that, that, this is straight-up cell phones. Uh, right. I, yeah, this is this is cell phone and, and mobile devices. The... Um, I don't know what the name of the of the division that handles the the Google TV stuff is called, but that it doesn't really fit that that demo. But um, the the whole thing with this that I'm afraid is going to happen mm-hmm. is that now Motorola is going to be the exclusive um, cell phone for Android. That's well, what a lot of people are worried about that, or they are going to get special versions, right. early versions of it, early access. From how it's reading, it looks like Motorola Mobility when it goes through will operate independently still mm-hmm. but you guys see, think there's a little bit of favoritism but of course right. of course also the one angle of this is this was a play for patents which we try yeah. not to get too big in the patents on this show but <laughs> also something something that uh, uh is kind of i guess i'm, I'm into the, the silver lining on this this cloud of, of whatever but so We've talked plenty of times about how one of the reasons that the iPhone and iOS works is because you buy an iPhone, you get iOS. You don't buy the iPhone made by HTC and the iPhone made by Motorola and the iPhone made by somebody else. And they all have different hardware options and different specs and you put the same OS on them. And as a result, all three pieces of hardware suck. So there's, uh, you know, Google has tried to put out their own devices and they haven't been too great about it. You know why? Because Google doesn't make hardware. You know who makes hardware? Motorola makes hardware. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so know, if they can get the proprietary thing going, and they can basically, what they should be doing is sculpting every Android release from here on out for the Motorola devices that they will be managing, make sure everything works perfectly, and let everybody else fight over the leaving. You know, the, a little bit of what... They've, been, they've done this a little bit with the Nexus devices, haven't they? But they've been doing it in partnership with the, ori- the original one was HTC. Right. Uh, the Which next makes, one was Samsung. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, which was that, Josh? I I like the HT, HTC devices. Okay, yeah. Which is why I'm I'm worried about this whole Motorola. They, they thing. were the first ones to get Android, right? And they're the first ones to get Nexus, and now Motorola. But although a lot of people don't, a lot of people are pretty fond of the Droid devices. They've been pretty popular, right? Or is that I've just never or, used is one. That, or is that marketing? It's probably the the, marketing. the the Google Droid devices. Yeah, uh, I would say limited reception. Because they're notoriously expensive, okay, unsubsidized, mm-hmm. um, and they, as far as I can think, every version has been ungodly huge. Right. Yeah, they're yeah. not small. Phones. The one guy I work with, uh, he pulls that out, and he's got the one that was like monster, you know, deep, like four inch screen or something. I mean, they're great because if you if you get attacked by someone at night, say. You can defend yourself, <laughs> or just blind them with a the large. But screen. if you want to fit it in your pocket, uh, not not too good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, this this could be you know. But they, they maybe they make their Nexus kind of stock devices through Motorola. Say this is how we want you people making our phones, and then everybody else takes it off from there. Then you get Samsung or whatever doing. 3D phones or God knows what else. What was, what was the other one? The surround sound phone they did? Yeah. Um, you know, for Sprint or whatever. You know, all those gimmicky ones. But they're still, this is the base. This is how we want people to use it. 
you know, at least have this guys, you yeah. know, and then I'd really, I'd really like to see Google stick to making software and mm-hmm. just allow this division to handle their hardware. And that sounds like how it's going to be, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll switch to a Motorola Android device if I have to. Mm-hmm. There's no reason. I mean, very. I mean, I just the, I, don't, I don't think they're provided on your service on T-Mobile, right? Right. Yeah. But I mean, the HTC devices are good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I there's mean, nothing wrong with them. I had the last one for over two years. Mm-hmm. I only had to get it replaced once, and that was because I dropped it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that was nothing... Although, this one you've already had to have replaced. Right, and that was because of the poor design flaw that Rob pointed out when I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, uh, the monitor ribbon cable started to go, so my phone turned a purplish color. Yeah. That's the G2, of course, right. in T-Mobile. For those uh, wondering, I don't. Um, to speaking show. of cell phones, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so speaking of cell phones um, and patent cases mm-hmm. <laughs> that we don't normally talk about on the show, I would like to point out that HTC is suing Apple for patent infringement on every device it makes. Dude, I think everybody's <laughs> suing everybody for everything they make at right. this point. The Samsung stuff has been ridiculous. Um, that I think uh, Apple has injunctions against Samsung for the tab 10.1 tab in Germany and Australia at yeah. this point. Yes. It's not a few other places. Now Samsung's coming back and say they because there's a side by side picture they presented in in Germany that you know obviously the 10.1 is a more widescreen device. Um, you know it's a different shape. They like refitted it to look the same side by side. On um, you can see myself. <laughs> she is distracted by the monitor in here. <laughs> but, um, um, I let me clarify that because yeah. I said every device that Apple makes, and what I meant by that I, was the iPhone, the iPad, and the, the iPod. iOS device. Yes, yeah, exactly. But, um, I, and it's, yeah, it hasn't been released what patent they infringed on. Um, I think it was Gizmodo joked and said that it was the the glass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I, it's. <laughs> It's completely ridiculous at this point. And also, um, I went to Radio Shack today. I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. It it's okay as long as either no one talks to you or the right Good people luck. or Good the luck. right people talk to you. It's very rare. I know. Um I actually had a pleasant exchange with the one guy. Okay. Um I went in there to get something and uh he kept trying to upsell me, okay. jokingly. To like, what? well, I can't say what I was buying, but they wanted me to buy a uh, surround sound television hookup for it. And <laughs> for the thing you were buying, yeah. which is definitely not right. What the hell? I know. And then uh, the other ca- guy at the counter um, offered to sell me a flux capacitor. <laughs> at, to, w- to which point I said, well, if you have it in stock, I'll take it. Oh. And he came back out with a, a cardboard box. <laughs> That someone in the back had run, writ, wrote uh, flux capacitor on. Are you guys going to go out for a date later? No. No. <laughs> Chachi found a bond in the, in the Radio Shack. What the hell was this? <laughs> but um, anyhow. Um, Which Radio Shack was this? The one downtown mm. on, what was it, 5th? I don't know. The only one I was ever at downtown isn't there anymore. Okay. It's a park. Um, but uh, anyhow, uh, the guy in there said they're done selling... Uh, T-Mobile stuff as of September 15th. I heard about that. Are they, are they switching the Verizon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're done selling T-Mobile stuff as of September 15th. Now, I wonder if that was a move out of the whole merger situation. It is. is that's, it? that's what he said. Yeah, yeah because of the merger, they're done with T-Mobile. They're not bothering with it. Nope. Yeah. Is it I wonder if, uh, if they're just going to be flushing out T-Mobile devices. Probably. So I you'll probably think. get some good sales on T-Mobile devices in the next month. Either that or it gets shipped back to T-Mobile. Oh, that's true. But they're going to want to clear stock, too. So, interesting. Hey, Josh, you want to talk about video games? Okay. You want to talk about how... No. No? No, I no. don't want to talk about it. <laughs> just, just push the mic away. I don't want to talk about this story. <laughs> Chachi, Chachi, you you might not be buying a next-generation console. <sighs> That's... What the hell? He's, you all right over there? No. The mic's not anywhere near you right I know. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this story. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I. He's right. I mean, he's not wrong. He's, oh, hey, well, here's what what came up. Uh, the uh, Epic Games president said, "So, really, what is the point of those next generation consoles?" Um, 
through this, you know, supposing that, you know, people aren't really going to buy these consoles anymore, that uh, we're, you know, they're, they're going to be mobile. Um, here's a little bit of what he, what he quoted. So, so I think the really challenge for us now is rather than worrying about the difference between a couple consoles of some order of magnitude, whether three times or four times, it's about how we deal with the iPhone 8. If you watch where games are going, that's where you are. Your iPhone 8 will probably plug into your TV or better yet, wirelessly connect to your television set to give you a big screen gaming experience with a good sound. Hey, hey, hey let me interject. Okay. It already does that. Yes. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of games that take advantage of that, is there? No, no there isn't. I mean, That's this true. is this is just sorry. Like within the next year, we're going to have this. Oh yeah, within the next year. I mean, it's it's built in iOS five, the ability to do the screen sharing thing to a uh, Apple TV. So everything he's describing currently exists. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, he's seen. I mean, he's seen it way before us because he's a freaking, you know, president of a developer. So so he he's seeing this and what people are intending and you know between that and the Wii U which mm. you know isn't the Wii U kind of doing the same thing but backwards <laughs> yeah you know really it is <laughs> you know it's just I have this this pad that doesn't have any hardware in it you know uh, any processing power uh, and uh, and connecting wirelessly <laughs> uh, you know the other day uh, Marco Marco formerly of Tumblr Marco of hello. Instagram. Um, are you alright Judge <laughs> you said Marco so. Oh, Polo. I um, had to reply. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was Marco anyway. But he brought up the fantastic point, uh, which is why isn't Nintendo making games for iOS? Well, that's an interesting question, Rob. And so, and and he's not the only one asking it. So are the st the stockholders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. As we have here from TouchArcade.com. Well, I mean, uh, it, you know, it goes into the whole casual gaming thing, but yeah, in the yeah. Whole Exactly. But if, if there were Nintendo games in the iOS store, they know what they're doing when they make games. They just need to drill it down into what we're doing today. What we're doing today are things that are a heck of a lot similar to things like playing Mario on the original NES. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, Which so, I have on my phone. Yeah. So, Already. like, I, I will never buy another console in my life. I could pretty much say that pretty solid. Um, I will buy an Apple TV, I'm sure when they finally come out with a new version, so I don't feel like an idiot buying mid-cycle. Um, but if there were Nintendo games in the App Store, I would absolutely be interested, and I would, I would, add, you know, if there was, like, a full new version of Mario something something, I'd consider paying, like, five bucks for that if it's a good game. Mm-hmm. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're already seeing the problem with 3DS. They already had to cut the cost because it's not performing as well. I'm not sure this Wii U is going to do as well as the first Wii did. No. At this point, I don't think people are going to no. buy into. They got to do something pretty fantastic for this to work out. This is going to crash and burn. You think you think the Wii U is going to be it for Nintendo? It's going to be done. Is oh. it is it going to be their Sega Saturn? I hate to say it, but yeah, this is this is the end. Now we were excited about the Wii at first. We were like kind of questioned, like what? And the, we were excited about the it concept. Interesting. Yeah, but now that more information is being released about the console, and it's just dumb. <laughs> No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that you can only buy one controller for the console. Like, one controller works... One, one Wii U controller. You can still use the We're nunchucks We're talking about the Wii U. I don't need to specify. Well, but you can still use nunchucks and all that Well, yeah, that's too. a Wii controller, though. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. But, I mean, I the fact that you can only use one Wii U con controller for the Wii U... Mm -hmm. It's just dumb. Mm -hmm. I mean... You get a bunch of drunk people arguing over who wants who gets to use the special Wii U controller. You get to that, pass it around. That control that no. That's how you get diseases, Mike. Right. That console is done. Yeah. I I hate to say it, but this very well could be the end of Nintendo's console yeah. system. Yeah. They're and, and, they're gonna and, go the way of Sega. And they're even even if they are going with, you know, more contemporary games like Ninja Gaiden and stuff like that, they still kind of have a weird control. All of their all, all of their um, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, main characters mm -hmm. will be on other consoles. That's all there is to it. They're going to become Sega. You yeah. think that's what it's going to be? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Mm -hmm. They're going to make money off of selling games to other consoles. Or or is it going to be that these these consoles aren't going to... Maybe they'll still start to keep doing their 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 innovative concepts and finally let loose and start putting their stuff on iOS devices and everything like that. Actually, they are already a well, little... Well, even if they do, mm -hmm. it, that's still the same thing. 
Mm-hmm. Now they are going to put a Pokemon <laughs> game out. What's is this? Why the... is that? Why it burns when I game? <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it, this console's it's bad. Huh? Yeah. Well, they are putting a Pokemon game on an iPhone. Now, technically, Nintendo's not doing it. They jointly own Pokemon with with another company. So, and that company is going ahead and licensing it for games on iOS. But you see, if we see that skyrocket to the top of the charts, there, you gotta think they're going it's to. It's going about to. It. You gotta think they're going to think about it. It's going to. Now, I don't know what uh, you know. What style is it going to be? A classic Pokemon game? Is it going to be an odd like Pokemon mini game kind of thing for the iPhone, or or what's going to? If it's a a normal style Pokemon game, it's going to skyrocket. Everyone's going to well, not everyone. But the majority of users are going to buy it, mm-hmm. and that's going to show the Nintendo stockholders that they're doing something wrong. That they should not uh, <laughs> abandon ship and watch it sink. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, I mean, Nintendo's coming off a really big high with everything that happened with the Wii, you know, through the early part of this generation too, and and you know, you knew it was going to decline here towards the end. So, um, wow, it. it <laughs> That, well, actually, the app is going to be uh, free. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's, uh, what the hell? This can't be right. This has to be a typo. What? what? I have a text message from Chris. Yes? Where she just typed Wii U, like, uh, spelled out. Yeah. And it, it she's, and then she responded, sorry, that was just my ambulance impression. She just re- yeah, she just kept repeating it. And then I got another one that I'll share with you after the show because this is a rated PG show. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Oh, no, that one, the, the rated R one isn't from Chris. It's from uh, Andy Quill. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got here? Um, I, have, uh, I have breaking news. Breaking Ooh, news? What's up? What do you got? Uh, Pittsburgh uh, apparently was rated the third most promiscuous city in the country. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. it's not tech re- related, but no, uh, but tech related. Well, I mean, it Pittsburgh. was it was rated by OK Cupid. <laughs> so you know, let me look up the story. So so everybody's getting around in Pittsburgh. Apparently, we beat out a lot of we beat out like Miami, Florida, mm-hmm. and like San Francisco. Okay. Uh, we lost to Seattle, Washington, and Portland, Oregon. Portland? Really? Yeah, Portland, Portland's number one. <laughs> wow. All right. So, Pittsburgh tech-related news. Mm-hmm. The, uh, how do you say it? Uh, Cyogen? Mod Founder. Um, it's a company that makes all the software for Android devices when you root it. Okay. Like their own versions of gingerbread, for like instance. Like their kind of city air or something. Right. Um, yeah, he got a job at Samsung because of that. Nice. Yeah. And he is from Pittsburgh. It's like the GeoHot guys uh, now at Facebook. Yeah. So, yeah. He's he's from Pittsburgh. Where'd you get that randomly? Uh, it was tweeted earlier. Oh. Uh, hey, Chachi, I know what you're going to be doing with Netflix here in the next uh, few days. You're going to be visiting the Just for Kids section, so you can find everything that has to do with what do we got here? Wallace and no, that's not the picture I saw. There, there was a Big Bird on here too. Well, it, this this is experimental. Ooh, uh, spy Kids. Yeah, Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. Uh, look, Last Airbender. You just watched that last week, didn't oh, you? Oh my! I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. that giant steaming pile of crap <laughs> that I had, yeah. I, I was questioning 10 minutes into the movie. Did you watch the cartoon? No. No? <laughs> so it made even less sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, alright, so there's these people that can bend these elements. Mm-hmm. I'm like, alright. I'm like, so why is not that chick just put the fire out? <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, anyways. Well, I mean, it didn't make sense. She has this pouch full of water, so she can always use her power. Mm-hmm. But the firebenders have to be near a fire. Well, there's only one fire in the camp. Just put it out. <laughs> that fight's over. <laughs> Thank you, M. Knight. Thank you. Uh, oh, my God. But this is something I always wondered about, because I always thought of, you know, some people are like, if I had kids, I you didn't have kids, I, I'd get rid of cable. 
You know, and I always wonder. That's a lie. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? And when it's kind of lazy. It's like, well, I'll sit my kid in front of the TV instead of having to make them have to, you know, pick something on Netflix. Um, but I was wondering, you know, how do you split that up? I don't know if the parental uh, uh, locks on the Xbox really split those off very well. But this is their answer, is the Just for Kids user interface with a bunch of big buttons and pictures and stuff like that. Um, so so it, it's an interesting it's an interesting angle for them. <laughs> What's up? I, I got a message from Rob. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. But, um, yeah, no, it makes sense, because, I mean, a lot of times the kids learn how to operate the dvd player on their own anyhow yeah so yeah. i mean just lock everything up give them the uh we oh, controller I've seen and... so many like parents have their their kids put the dvds in them in themselves I know. and they're so scratched up that's yeah. the worst idea i mean they, they teach them to take care of it i understand their kids they got little hands with the big DVDs, but... <laughs> well, they, they got little hands so like <laughs> they're like the keebler elves <laughs> <laughs> My uh, a friend of mine is a uh, oh, is a is a birthing instructor. Okay. And so, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Heck of a starter, right? How do they but, ha- how do they handle DVDs? Well, she has so they have like Netflix and whatever, and she has these uh, saved videos of things of that content. Mm-hmm. And her little uh, two year old daughter has really figured out how to use that Netflix. <laughs> Her vocabulary has expanded oh, exponentially. Wow. You know, actually, I did have a conversation with my father-in-law, who's been uh, living with us up in the cafe, and I showed him how to use Netflix on the Xbox, right? Because I'm like, here, you know, we don't have cable, but this is what we have if you want to look for something cool to watch that's not just regular TV, you know, antenna, antenna TV. And he's like, boy, those not rated movies aren't uh, should probably have a rating on them, because apparently he found one that was very sexual by accident. Or not by accident, I don't know. Is there Depends porn on, on Netflix? There's near porn on netflix huh. yes oh absolutely i mean there's i would there's there's a whole like gay and lesbian section there is a are you bolding these stories as we go through them yes that's okay. how i know what we've talked about <laughs> i just looked down and i saw a few of them were bolded I was like, <laughs> threw me off I'm like, that's I so re- i know what we skipped and didn't skip when it's two in the morning i try to remember how the show went oh, gotcha. you know um but yeah, there's that. And then even if you do have parental ratings and you have a not rated movie because it was either straight to DVD or they didn't bother because they knew it'd be NC-17, which I don't know. Is there anything NC-17 on Netflix? I don't think like there is anything that's straight up that. They, they just usually go not rated and that's it. You know, how do those get p- picked up through the filters? Uh, apparently Netflix has the Karma Sutra. Yeah, they do have the Kama Sutra. Yeah. They have like some kind of tutorial thing on didn't there. didn't know that. Are you looking up sexy things on Netflix right now? No. No. I got a message. <laughs> are you can just keep getting text messages during the show. Yeah. Is this your own chat room? Your own it private is. chat room? It is. Okay. <laughs> you guys the inside info. Um hey Chach, remember we were talking about like the Beats headphones last yeah. week? Yeah. You know, yeah. and you talk about you're a fan of HTC and everything. Right. Well, uh they bought Jimmy Io Ivy? Ivy? Eovine? The guy from American Idol. Yeah. Uh they bought Beats Electronics. Uh, to help them with branding. I know. Basically, okay, okay, then tell us about it. No. No? (laughs) Because I didn't read the story. I just know that they bought it. Uh, basically, it looks like they bought it, uh, and they're bringing in their expertise to do what headphones, you know, the specialization kind of branding for, for headphones. Uh, and oh, they're I did hoping, read this. and they're hoping to bring it to phones. Now, you're a fan of HTC, and HTC haven't really, like, they don't have a branding like Droid does. Well, I mean... No, they don't. And uh, the only thing HTC has going for them is that they're good phones. They're the the G uh, series phone for T-Mobile. Yeah, like they're the Android phone, and that's not all they do. No, yeah, but uh, that that's the Android phone for T-Mobile. But also, previously, HTC used to not brand their phones. They used to be like the AT and T Tilt, the AT and T eighty five twenty five kind of right. You know, I mean, they they would brand up if you saw a Verizon so such and such. It was usually an HTC phone, That's at right. least in the smartphone side. And so now, re- more recently, they started branding themselves. It's an yeah, yeah. HTC G2 or something Look. like that. You're seeing it on the f- back of the phones. Where I don't know all how you, well you can yeah, see you that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Which all you used to see was maybe, like, it says T-Mobile on the phone. Yeah. Or it, or it says Google on the phone. And you know what? Uh, on, on the last one, it was in small white paint. 
mm-hmm. on the very bottom corner of the phone. It's at HTC. Yeah, where yeah. if you weren't looking for it, you weren't going to find it. I don't think uh, on the on the tilts and the eighty five twenty fives we've had. I don't think it was marked anywhere right. physically on the phone. Right. So now they're going from this to a complete one eighty from trying to get their phones more out there. Right. As, and this is as a bad HTC. Idea. What do you think is a bad idea? You don't want your uh, J- Dr. Dre G three. Uh, can can I just say that Beats are terrible? Are they? <laughs> that, that that's what I heard. That when it started coming up, people uh, in in the chat on the show I was listening to were like, some people are saying good. A lot of people are saying they're really terrible headphones. If you, it's one of those things that um, you know, like oh, I'm an audiophile, but but really, um, you could say that Beats are the monster cable of the headphone Ooh, industry. Okay, Ooh, okay, so overpriced brand name kind of thing. Exactly, they're overpriced. The only reason they're quote unquote worth that much is because they're Dre Beats. Mm-hmm. And honestly, if Dr. Dre considers these to be good headphones, I just lost all of my respect for everything he's ever done. No, he doesn't consider them to be good headphones. He got paid they just yeah, to they put just paid him a shit. Good luck trying to find a picture of him wearing Beats headphones when he's not in a commercial. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they're they, really, really terrible, and it it breaks my heart seeing these really dumb kids walk into the Apple Store and buy them and be and spend so much money on something that you really just no. That's the thing I don't understand. I mean, because I looked them up, and they're like two hundred dollars on the website for just the earbuds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and they were I given can, away when we're at the Dark Knight thing. Those are that's what they're. Oh, who wants some lady? Gaga beat headphones yeah. in some comics. It's like, all right. But, um... Yeah, I mean, you can walk into any, like, electronics store, or not not any, but a lot of them, and pick up a pair of Skull Candy mm-hmm. for 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot I lo- of people, I see a lot of people with those. I love Skull Candy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, Skull Candy is, is like, by no means, like, an auto audiophile best, but you compare them to Beats... Yeah, pretty much the same package. I mean, for the for the price, I mean, yeah, you're exactly. getting a quality headphone. Mm-hmm. So, but I don't think uh, HTC is not buying them for the technology. They're buying them for the marketing. Right. For the mar- long right. But, you but know what? it will also give them an excuse to make a really crappy product for over- two times as much. Exactly. Like that's the problem I have with it because yeah. this is automatically going to kick up the price of their phones a couple hundred dollars. I don't think they're going to do it for everything. I mean, I, I think it's going to be like select things. You're going to get that specialized. And I don't, you know, not to say that yeah, they're going to do a Lady Gaga phone or anything like that. But they, they're going to do Do you something. know how many people would buy a Lady Gaga edition phone? Millions. Don't you want a pink G2, Chachi? No. There are plenty <laughs> the, of the really only... misguided little, ki- little girls who would happily do so, though. I don't know what this phone does, and I think I have a virus, but it has Lady Gaga. Oh, man. Hold on. First off, um,. The only themed phone that I ever wanted mm-hmm. was the R2-D2 droid. Yes. Yes. Um, and number two, um, GoDaddy sets price for .xxx domain names. <laughs> story, <laughs> story shared in the chat room by Dab of Tech. Uh, Juggler John also says 75% of people buy things to make them look cool, not because they work. And that's why 75% of all people are dumb as bricks. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. There you go, <laughs> dumb as bricks. Yeah, let's see, Chachi. what else are we gonna? Uh, so, what, 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 so GoDaddy, what, what is this about the triple X domain? Yeah, what, what are they charging for triple X domains? I don't know. I, I, last it's I in knew, the chat room. I'm not. I, in last the chat I knew room. they were ridiculously expensive. expensive. Yeah, I, I thought they were going to be crazy expensive. But uh, awesome. someone wants me to buy. Chachi says, the the triple X. X. Yeah. Uh, well, um, working on wow. it. Wow. Uh, wow, GoDaddy Registrar has announced its pricing plans. Two hundred and ten dollars uh, and a hundred bucks a year to renew. Yep. Yeah. Um. No. It's not bad, actually. Hey, for for you know, compared to, uh, that's a little more expensive than I remember domain. I'm sure domains were pretty expensive when they first first started, right? But when I remember, it was like you had to pay fifty dollars a year and you had to buy two years at a time. Yeah. Mm. So I I mean compared to that like. You know, twelve years ago, that's they they don't want just anybody getting triple X's. Yeah, I was just gonna I say mean, there's got to be an approval. They, they don't want Chachi says dot triple X. Everyone in chat room does. 
some <laughs> which, which also oh, means that somebody gets the amazing job of having to approve triple x website i know <laughs> who gets i want that? that job who gets that uh should, do you really you know what kind of weird stuff is i know probably coming in there that you have like really this big list see. of links every day you come into work you click on them and you're like i didn't even know you could do that with a horse <laughs> i know <laughs> And then you just click approve, and they go on their way. <laughs> well, carry on. Uh, they do get to, down to one ninety nine for uh, the first year. I don't. The, I don't know. What, understand the, this uh, general availability, I land rush, sunrise, at sunrise, ad. I don't understand these tiers. I think it's uh, like early av- availability. Yeah, okay. it's all early availability. Yeah. Oh, okay. Land rush. Okay. It's a metaphor. Are you so, familiar with metaphors? I'm not. No. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I know. You and that curtain. Me and that curtain. Me and my metaphors in the curtain. Uh, but you can get them general availability for ninety nine ninety nine for the first year. Chachi, we should start a Kickstarter for this. No. 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 You know, just because we get a triple X doesn't require that you take your clothes off. I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty sure that says, oh, that's in the writing. You must. There better be naked people on. Right. This. He, this is. He's gonna take his clothes off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the dot xxx stands for. It's something on this web page is going to take its clothes off. <laughs> mm, exactly. Yeah. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that by buying a .xxx, you sign a contract that says you guarantee that something on this page is taking its clothes off. <laughs> How much of this conversation is uh, PC TV approved? I, I don't think we're, this one's making it to PC TV. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Something a little more okay, less, a little more risk, less risque. Um, <laughs> Google Games. Oh yeah, that's have a thing. Have you been now, playing them? It? Uh, it's, I have not, it's, but it's, apparently um, they're not as intrusive. Yes, yeah. it, everything lives in its own tab. Um, this came, I think they announced this last Wednesday. Uh, followed by an announcement by Facebook that they were going to sandbox all their games under a tab. Mm. So 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 you won't get those mafia wow. wars in your general stream wow. anymore. The day after Chachi, actually, look, it might have been within like an hour. No, just look at the chat room for What's a up? second. What's up? Just look Chachi, at the chat room. Chachi uncensored dot triple X. I'm. <laughs> the, I can say that the penis on this page doesn't have to be yours. Wow. There you go. All, right. All kinds of business ideas going on. Yeah. Right now. Cool thing about um, <laughs> cool thing about Google Games. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> What's cool about Google Games? A friend of mine wanted to like test it out because you know one of the most annoying things about playing a game on Facebook is not. I mean, sometimes you want to play a game. That's why we talk about playing casual games on your phone and things like that. Sometimes you want to play a game. Sometimes you're on Facebook. Things come together. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're on Google Plus. You want to play a game, but you don't want to be that guy who plays a game, and then all of your friends get a notification on their wall or whatever saying that you played a game or that you want them to join the game that you're playing or that you should really help them kill somebody in Mafia Wars or whatever, whatever. That's why I get upset on Facebook. Mm-hmm. So what he did was he played, like, a few games, Sorry. like three or four different games, and then he asked somebody who he knew um, was, like, following or friending or whatever the story was and he said is there any way that you could look at my profile and figure out that i've been playing games and there was no way yeah and yeah. that's the whole point and and fa- facebook seems to be following suit with the same thing yep. so and i'm trying to bring that up but here's here's uh, it's loading now i'm actually loading up a game of uh angry birds well, of course my, my what else thing... would you put on here first but angry birds it's my still whole loading. thing was like i'm a big fan of being able to play game shows like Will of Fortune and I know, Jeopardy. I was, lo- I was looking at your Facebook. <laughs> right. And I would start playing it and try not to post anything, and then I find out it's posting. So yeah. I just stop. Yeah. Even though I want to play those games, I stop playing those games. You know what my games. problem is? Uh, a lot of times when you go to those games or other applications like that, the whole thing would, you know, would knock you out of secure uh, Facebook. It would knock you out of the HTTPS. Yeah, so I and just And then stopped. you had to manually go in and turn it back on. I'm not going to do that every day. I want to casually go off and do a game. Uh, thankfully, I think they... Yeah, I still have the HTTPS on here. Uh, but yeah, thankfully, they, they stopped doing that with games. And I hope they kind of fixed that all in general. Um, I'm going to try to pull up a game on Facebook to see their new thing. Um, but we got... We got Angry Birds. Oh, there it is. 
Everybody knows that sound. So, and the interesting thing about this, and, and this is this is where it lives, and and it has so many games, and it, it's all gonna live right in here. Like I noticed when I logged in here, three other people I know uh, uh, played this game. Uh, it's gonna run slow on this computer, I know. Um, but also, okay, you got your your general thing, and there's a teamwork section to Angry Birds. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I haven't uh, gone through this completely to see. I can invite friends to unlock more levels. And I guess, yeah, he had three friends have played this. I think he compare scores and everything. So this is like the most interactive. And it's a loading okay. G plus level one. I'm telling one. you this now. What's up? You can invite me to play this. I can invite you to play this? Yes. You won't get mad at me for inviting you to play this. To play Angry Birds? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks, I know. I mean, not so much here because it's a slower computer, but it looks really nice on my iMac, on my old iMac. It right. played really nice. So I mean that there's an option there now. Now Facebook has been. And I'll make sure I don't have anything important on here. Um, <laughs> make sure oh, nothing that, shows. Yeah, right here. I'm going to Words with Friends on Facebook and it's asking me to turn off secure browsing, which I've not been a fan of that. And you know the whole Fire Sheep thing we talked about months ago. Um, <laughs> Mad Mike said you can invite him to play Angry Birds as well. There you go. I think we're going to be starting an Angry Birds clan or something like that. Um, Rob, do you want to play Angry Birds on <laughs> Google Plus? Uh, I would consider it. <laughs> now, okay, here's my words with friends, and they're doing this. All your notifications, like for Farmville and all this other crap that I don't want at La Mafia Wars, it all lives right here under the gaming stuff. Supposedly, these, these are not going to pollute your, your stream and Facebook anymore. Because you see right up here at the top, Chachi? Yeah. I'm, I'm, t I'm teaching you, Chachi. Well, it's Facebook. I don't care. <laughs> You're already past it. You're already on the Google Plus bandwagon. I'm a Google Plus expert. Are you? Yes. Are you going to have a session of PodCamp on it? Yes. Okay. No. Or, no. <laughs> because anyone who calls themselves a Google Plus expert at this point is just a liar. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much to learn no. at this point. I know how to do circles and make you delete it and it rolls away, and that's pretty right. cool. Um, what do you think about this, Rob? Are, are, are you happy with this kind of sandboxing of the video of the games on here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, like I said, I uh, as much as I like the idea of you know clean, intelligent world where there are no games and everyone's unhappy and gray. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to punch you right now. I don't uh, know what. But it yeah, is. like I said, for as much as you know, we might use, use social media for business or whatever, or even hey, uh, communication. Uh, playing games on social media is just the thing that people like to do, and playing games socially is absolutely a thing to do. And it's fun. And, Everybody gets, and it gets no, to get. And it no longer pollutes your uh, day to day. Uh, so. Yeah, exactly. It's it's really just a matter of managing everybody wanting to play games with everybody else while catering to those who might not want to play a game at that moment and are more concerned about like the content in their stream than, you know, the obvious jokes of Farmville and this and that and the other thing. It's kinda like making people go to games.yahoo.com. Only they just put it in a nice little tab. Exactly. Oh so. that's that not a word. I'm sorry. I'm playing my words with friends with Doc Remedy. You're gonna um, lose. I am going to lose. I'm not good at this at all, but I enjoy playing. Um, and also, I don't have to be on my app. Gotcha. It's kind of nice. Mm. It's kind of nice with words with friends. It got me back. Damn it! It didn't even have to. Do, it wasn't even a Zynga game. And then they got bought by Zynga, and I'm back in the Zynga world. It's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Zynga. Go oh. check your goats. Go check my goats. <laughs> no, I quit Godfinger. So. I'm good there. That was a horrible. Yeah, I got Godfinger pushed too much. Yes, it does. It got really, really it, nosy. Uh, it got very, very quickly. It became one of those applications that would send you a uh, a push notification every five minutes, mm -hmm. and it would annoy you when you were neglecting your game. And it also meant that if you had a life or a job or obligations, your game would suffer because it devalued it, your life versus the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the long run, Which all of your stuff would die, and it was just miserable. So you'd go back to your game. And your wonderful, prosperous planet was now a barren wasteland of depression, and that's when I deleted the game. Is that? Do you ever want to go back and see how your world is doing? Nope, couldn't care less. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not yeah. that I'm bitter. Godfinger, those were the days. We had. I liked rise. that game a lot, and they ruined it. It was fun. It was. I mean, it was fun to begin with. Then it was like, is just oh, dirty. I really have to do this. What, what are you doing? Are you looking up more triple X domains? No. What are you looking at? Hold on, I'm trying to bring up this police story. Okay. This is just dirty. Why is it dirty? It says N NYPD creates social networking unit to pick up perps, not poke them. 
<laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was a terrible title to start with. That's okay. Did you see the picture they have uh, with it? Uh, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg and Marisha Hart- Marisha Hartike? Yeah, that's close enough. Something like that. The chick from SVU. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, now the women don't like us. Yeah. No- because you just called her that chick. That, yeah, uh, that lady. Thanks a She's lot. She's just an object. Move I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. It's not like she's from Nebraska. <laughs> and you're right about that, Shotch. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, kind of isn't isn't this what we expected? Because, I mean, how many stories and have we heard? The fact that it took this long. Yeah, yeah. And New York City seems like the perfect place for them to do that. To start something like this. Well, I mean, we all saw, like, during the... Well, currently during the London riots. Yeah. During the Vancouver riots, the police are using social media and basically posting, like, they'll have a page for the police department or whatever and post all these pictures and say, hey... If you can identify these people who ruined your city, we will be happy to go after them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Exactly. Exactly. So, so. Um, Those are the same people that get upset and call people snitches because <laughs> someone so, was so, nice enough to point out that they're not nice people. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is the new this is the new era of the digital snitch. Yeah, yes. pretty you much. Know? I mean, that would be a much better headline than something about poking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you know they're prison or they're they're soon to be prisoners. There's going to be poking. <laughs> all right, all right, but it's better than these these horrible, widespreading, uh, uh, you know, judgments that we've seen in like your lesser states where where they like you know I don't know try to make things illegal that you can't monitor or nobody will monitor in these other uh, communities. That's because they're so. I mean, there almost needs to be like backwoods. How, yeah, I mean, there almost needs to be like you know, uh, you know, uh, G- little Greenville, PA is not going to have a social media uh, uh, perps watch or anything like that. <laughs> right. But you know, maybe you bring it up to the county or the state starts doing something like that to police those kinds of things. But it's it, it's interesting. It's a, it's a it's created really a whole other division of policing because your general beat cop is or your detective or something does not get Twitter. Yeah. No. Not right. At all. So, uh, well, other legal interesting news. Of course, the London issue has been going on. Uh, a friend of uh, the wrestling show, Vilmo, actually is over there in London, so we wish him the best. Uh, but there's been a lot of social stuff. Um, now, uh, the, the the riot started because of uh, somebody, uh, what, a, co- a was it a police beating? That they, uh, they were a, police officer, <coughs> a police officer shot and killed a man. It's getting Who very dark over there in your land, by the way. In my, yeah, the sun is setting and <laughs> um, a police officer shot a man who was not necessarily doing anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. uh, basically the start of it. And it's also a lot of copycat crimes like we talked about. And it's a lot of people who are just... It was, it was a Kickstarter for people to get very emotional about a lot of things that they're upset about. Mm-hmm. Well, there's been a lot... This, this has led to a lot of discussion about what to do about uh, this coordination using BBM, of all things, the BlackBerry Messenger Service. Um, they, they, there's been a, a proposed crackdown being tossed around in Parliament. Um, an, an SX teen has been arrested for sending a BBN that ran afoul of the Serious Crime Act of 2007. Um, he's uh, allegedly used the service to encourage copyright attacks of the violent rioting that swept London. So this has been this has been a really big thing, and there was a there was an interesting comment by the prime minister the other day. The other day, I said I didn't. I think they said they they, they considered shutting down the service or, or or something like that. Something ridiculous uh, a few days ago. I mean, it, it's listen. It's not ridiculous if these jackals are using it to destroy a city. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. some of the buildings they destroyed were centuries old. Yeah, exactly. The problem is though. Um that it is so like talk about basic rights your rights communicate with another human being mm-hmm. fair tax like this is just another way to communicate and shutting that down is is revoking you of one of your primary rights and it's not like they're going to find uh, not find other ways to communicate people exactly doing i mean are, are you going to forbid me from send, sending smoke signals yeah, I mean, I yeah, smoke signals, phone calls. I mean, people have done this for years. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't I mean, get me wrong. I'm not happy about what's happening, and just like I was not happy about the thing that happened in Vancouver, and generally rioting and setting things on fire that are really important. We are not proponents of rioting. Yeah, we are not proponents of rioting whatsoever, and yes, wow, does it suck. But this is this is a really tricky gray area where you have to 
deal with something that's very sudden uh, in the in the same manner of like if there were to be uh, cyber warfare between large countries, mm. is it fair to, to you know turn off the internet? Well, what the, my all right my my view on this is, uh, you're right. It, it does take away one form of communication, mm-hmm. which is a human right. Mm-hmm. However, it is only one form of communication. Okay. You're not denying these people the right to communicate at all. You're just merely taking away one form. Mm-hmm. So what's going to stop them from doing it in a different way is the question. I mean, this goes well, to the... Well, are they going to uh, go around and duct tape everyone's mouth so they can't talk? R- right, exactly. <laughs> like, why would you... I mean, it's... it's like, I'm sure this has been asked in the past. I'm sure when, when cell phones first came out. I mean, yeah, we've seen true. things in uh, in the Middle East where cell phone carriers have turned off service as a way to stifle an uprising. Mm-hmm. But it didn't stop anybody from communicating. And I'm sure when cell phones first came out, this was a big issue. And I'm sure before that, the telephone in itself was seen as a really terrible thing because people were able to organize crime as a result of it. It doesn't mean you turn it off. It means that you really need to address the, the issues that people are upset about. So. The issues leading to it and not, not the means that they, they did it. Uh, something interesting uh, uh, interesting to the timing uh, happened with, uh, I guess it's the greater uh, metrop- metropolitan San Francisco area, had a similar thing where they were going to protest because a uh, I guess their transit system's called the BART out there. Um, a uh, Their transit police, uh, again, I think shot a... Uh, shot somebody unjustly and maybe was acquitted or something that and there were going to be protests they were just planning protests um we're going to organize with bbm i think publicly they they i guess they have cell service in this in the transit system like in the tunnels and everything like that and they shut it off to curtail any organization of these of these riots Mm -hmm. so i mean so that's something happened here you know in the states but by a company not by the government it's still it's such a gray area Mm -hmm. that thing it's because then you're when you talk about shutting down modes of transportation to say, well, the mode of transportation is run by the city and the city is funded by the people. So really, the people should have the right to that transportation at all times. But the city has the right to manage their infrastructure. I'm such times. a fair person. I know. It's really <laughs> awful. It, just like if um, the question has been asked. So let's say there is an incredible war that takes place, um, you know, in the homeland and resources need to be. Basically, we need to clear up the internet so the military can talk to itself and get things done. Mm-hmm. Is it safe but to... that's supposedly what the interstates are there for, too. Right. For, and for, and, for and so is it connect. safe to revoke the ability of the common folk to use the internet in the favor of supporting, you know, this is all very, very messy talk. It's kind of like the uh, the internet switch that, that they were proposing. Right, yeah, yeah. Should there be an internet switch? Yeah, should there be an internet switch? Which why, what, Was it supposed to cut down the entire internet or just the vital stuff that the regular people would use, leaving the infrastructure up? It would just uh, leave the infrastructure up. Well, okay. it, as far as that goes, <laughs> as an avid user of the internet, I think they should. Hey, we're on it right now. Right. I mean, I, hey, I, I think there should be a switch like that. Because, in all fairness, the internet was created for the military. Yeah. yeah. So, if that at that point, you're just returning it for its original use. But, at what point does um, access to the internet become access to water, access to electricity? That's and true. that is another argument there. Is the internet, at this point, a basic right of communication? Like a phone, like a utility... Yeah, is the internet considered a utility? How many Just people? like yeah. uh, there have been things, um, I think it was in Europe, but where situations where like a three strikes thing where you would have your internet revoked and then you're like, well, what if I need to rely on this for, you know, say you have a medical device at home that communicates with a doctor. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's a utility. You need it to function. You need it to live. You need it to buy things. You need it to communicate with other people. It becomes a utility and not something that's like frivolously given to you. But at the if that's like the you whole, don't need you do not need a football to survive. If you mess something up of mine with your football, I will take your football away. <laughs> this is well, a terrible com- comparison. I mean, but no, no, it makes you, you could sense. need the internet to survive, and it's not right for someone to be able to take that away from you. Right, I understand that there are some cases in which you could need to be, or you could need the internet to survive. But those cases are few and far between at this point. Yeah, at, yeah. At, for today, yes. they are. 
but that case will become exponentially more popular as we move forward. At which point it would just become wireless anyhow, so... But, I so... Mean, it would so still... Let's say, let's go future-proof it, and let's say there's an uprising somewhere in the United States in a city that's providing WiMAX. The internet just became a utility. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you shut down that WiMAX in the event of an uprising to prevent further uprising? At that point in, at that point in time, it depends on the... It's a uh, sticky situation. Well... Uh, and this is the way the government would exact would look at it. It would depend on um, the amount of harm done by doing that. Mm. Like it would be like it if only. But to, to 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 keep it fair, the only way to make it harmful and the the <laughs> only thing it would take for it to be harmful enough is for one casualty. That's true. That's true. I mean, you know. One guy falls off a wall for getting tossed the ball in a baseball game, and now nobody wants to toss balls into the crowd. You know, exactly. I mean, it just takes one time after you know a hundred hundred years of tradition. It takes <laughs> yeah. one time, and everybody second guesses it. You know, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, that's all very, this very talking, worrisome. any amount of legislation, any amount of politics mm -hmm. can be stopped completely solid by one one casualty of any of any type even if it's a casualty of somebody ends up and i also it. wonder you know if we were if we were writing the bill of rights today if we did a new bill of rights i wonder if there would be one of those and maybe it's in there in some language maybe i think some people try to make this freedom of speech i don't know if it really connects to that because this is a line of communication and not speech it, it, it depends on your interpretation and there's a lot of a lot of, uh, 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 you know, going back and forth to, to interpret this way. But would there be a more explicit right to communication, yep. right to the phones, right to Internet? Right there to, would have to right be. To, right to stuff that we didn't have back then. I mean, we get the right to the reason the right to bear arms is in there for in the case that the government gets corrupt and we need to take it back like we did originally. You know, this is becoming this is becoming the 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 the, the Blackberry Messenger and the Twitter is becoming the right to bear arms in this country and other countries ah, where we're oh. seeing these 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 what? <laughs> Whoa. What? What? <laughs> Slow clap for Michael Sorg. What the 11th the 11th bill of right the right the right to bear Twitter. No, we're not okay. arguing with you. I'm all, yes. I'm all yeah, we're not, yeah, we're wow. not arguing with you. We agree. I can't, I can't tell if he's smiling or not because it's so dark. All I see are teeth. Uh, John, <laughs> John brought I'm up sorry. a good point. I'm sorry. It's, it's, apparently, he only gets uh, electricity for his internet. Nothing, nothing is stopping Comcast or Verizon from shutting down their own network. No, if they it's want private. To. It is private. Yeah. It's private. If 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 Comcast says, "Okay, we're tired of you talking trash on on us." You know, our customers, we can shut it down. There's nothing to take away from that, you know. But, you know, I, but, you know, just like all, everything else is regulated as utilities, if there is a law out, says Comcast, you have to make sure you have internet. You have to make sure it's up. You have to make sure it's this good because At these people point, have a right to do it. They're paying for it. You know, you can't shut off gas for to, to a grandma in the middle of winter. You can't shut off internet to, you know, whatever the case may be. I mean, and I'm not saying that internet is as important as electricity and gas for fundamental stuff, but it's becoming more important. It is becoming. It's becoming the way we communicate. It's becoming the way we socialize, the way we, 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 the economy works. I mean, how many of the biggest eco economical things are electronic devices or communication things that, if it wasn't for the internet, are really just kind of out there concepts? I mean, Twitter is, a, you know, a line of communication, a software that lives in the ether of the cloud. You know, it's not physical products anymore well yeah, there was um there was somebody i can't remember who it was uh some journalists on twitter uh they said that they were listening to a al jazeera interview and i can hear myself talking yeah yeah you're like lowering so i'm turning you up i don't know what's going on go ahead and continue okay. um so i'm gonna take off my headphones before i punch myself <laughs> so they uh they were watching an al jazeera news interview and the Pundit said that uh, they felt that no matter what the situation, anyone should be able to access the media through whatever means they have available. And so the issue that this person on Twitter was bringing up, not so much an issue as much as just agreeing with the point, is that we are now at a point where society is okay with even fumbling with the idea of media as a right discuss um wow <laughs> well, interesting I, um 
Mike in the chat room said that gas and electric can be shut off whenever. Um, I don't know about New York, but in PA... You can't shut it down in the winter, no matter how behind you, you are in your bill. You have... There are so many hoops that have to be jumped through before those two things can be shut off. Mm -hmm. And if uh, the courts even have an inkling that someone uh, will be harmed mm -hmm. by those two things being shut off, then they will not let you shut them off if no you're, matter if how... If you're elderly or sick in any way, you, they, you're telling that they cannot shut off your yeah. gas, I believe, as well, at least around these parts. Yeah, it doesn't matter It doesn't matter how far behind they are in the bills. If, the, if that'll cause harm in any way, shape, or form, it'll net... That's correct. It's inaccurate. He mm -hmm. said, so it was Zach and Mary make a porno. No, that that's not, <laughs> that's, that's not, I'm sorry, no, that's not inaccurate because not neither of them were harmed from them shutting that off. It's a movie, guys. Um, Anyhow. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Rob, what do you got going on? Wow. Um, what am I doing? Sitting in the dark. Yeah, I'm sitting in the dark right now. I'm sorry, but I have no easy way to get to a light. In the glow of a glow of a light book, a MacBook. I'm sorry. I'm I'm opening up a white text document at the moment. That's the light that you're seeing here. And if you look very carefully, I think we can read it through your glasses. Um, uh, what do I have going on? I'm going to Kansas City on Wednesday. Okay. So I should I I should be here on Tuesday, I think. Um, <laughs> or you'll be from some nondescript uh, Hilton somewhere. Yeah, some nondescript yeah, 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 location yeah, yeah. Uh, deep inside the Batcave. Uh, so I got, got uh, that going on. And no, you will stay out of my Batcave. Yeah. Oh, right. hey, if uh, if anybody wants to do a podcam session with me, they should let me know. Because I don't feel like doing one alone, but if somebody wants to have a discussion or something, I am absolutely game. I'll talk about something. All right. <laughs> If you can, bring up a topic. We'll figure it out. We're already Who want to have another angry rant about internet as a right? Yeah, I, actually, you know what? This is a good discussion. I think we should have a talk about that because that's kind of what's going on right now. I don't know if we're the guys to do it. I yeah. we, we'll get some smarter people than us, <laughs> and uh, and we'll do it. There Here I am trying to do a session, and you're trying to hire stunt doubles. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one smarter than Rob. That is okay. Uh, they, oh, I meant us. Oh, I mean, I mean us. Me, you know, you and I. Wow. What? I went to art school. I'm smart. Whatever. Well, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. Other than that, hey, we're doing awesome cast at Podcamp. At, at, at Podcamp. Podcamp. Pod September 17th and 18th. Get your tickets now. They're on sale. Tickets are on sale, and you might have the colors of the shirts figured out by then. Free. Uh, and, ticket, uh, and by tickets, we do mean it's free. Just yes, so you know. Yes. Unless you uh, want to sign up for VIP. You need to register case. so we know how many people are coming so we have enough food for all of you. Um, you a VIP, you get a swag bag, so you get, like, stuff and things. Mm-hmm. Right there, 17th and 18th Point Park University. Help us pay got for the tour. There, there's the old place. Uh, got the tour, uh, University Center over there at Point Park. Oh, my God. If you attended a pod camp in the past, this is going to be a huge upgrade. This one's going to blow your nothing, mind. Just nothing against like the Art Institute. A lot of them went to school there, but we were outgrowing it big time. Stop waving to the TV. Stop <laughs> waving to yourself on the TV, <laughs> Chachi. <laughs> but uh, you walk in there, and it's just ginormous. And it's this nice, great old building downtown. It's I guess it used to be a bank, and it used to be a library. So it, it'll be pretty fun. Uh, so that's going on. Um, I think I'm doing a video podcasting session kind of advanced Ooh. tactics talking about how we do this thing i don't think i'm on any and sessions no you're on awesome cast well i'm on that one but i mean so other than that i don't think i'm on any we'll figure that we can throw you in this one panel yeah, um, we'll i don't want to be on that panel. you'll be on somewhere rob just keeps telling me i'm wrong in that discussion so i'm just like, wait about what the internet discussion what internet discussion the one we just had where you said i was wrong i wasn't saying that you i were know wrong. i was just <laughs> yeah i know um I was trying to get out of it. I also, I, I, did, some, <laughs> I did submit a session this week. Uh, Ten things I learned from five years of podcasting. Ooh, sounds fancy. It uses numbers and everything. People like this. I, I learned that from Justin Kanaki. Um, so, so there you go. That, that's that's what's going on there. Uh, uh, Chachi? What? <laughs> what's up, sword? What's going on with you? Uh, you know, I... I, I... Ch Giant mouse traps. I know, giant mouse giant traps. Giant mouse traps um, over at pittsburghonvideo.org. Yeah, unsung... Um, feature this week was the giant mousetrap board game. So go over the Pittsburgh. On it's video. still going on until I think this weekend or or mid next week. I think. Right. Uh, but yeah, Carnegie Science Center. Go down. It's outside. You don't have to pay to go down to it other than parking. 
which is like three, five bucks, something like that. Uh, but go check it out. Check out the show times. It's pretty cool. But, and um, and they, the closer to the end of it, the more they get it right. That's funny. <laughs> Just like the real board game. Well, it takes forever to set up because yeah, it's exactly. huge and it's mousetrap. <laughs> but um, anyhow, um, yeah. So go sexy over to mouse Pits- girls. They're sexy mouse girls. Will you stop interrupting me? <laughs> so go over to pittsburghonvideo.org and check out that mm-hmm. and all the other videos that are on there from us. Mm-hmm. And then I do that blog thing where I'm up to game 67. What's the latest game? Uh, Micro Machines. Micro Machines. We're talking about the NES or the Genesis one? The NES. Nice. No. No? Have you ever <laughs> played that game? I guess it's I terrible. Didn't. Apparently, did. I it's horrible. It. It's like top-down racing. Yeah. Oh yeah, those it's are kind bad. of bad. No, I'm it's getting bad. the opinion that every game in this book sucks. No, not every game. Just the ones <laughs> there, I happen to bring up. There's no Rob anymore. <laughs> he just deteriorated over. Time. Yeah, not all the games suck. Just the ones I happen to bring up. Okay. Um, I have played good games that yeah, I've never played be- before. Um, podcast. And pod in the, the video cast. <laughs> That I keep doing. That you um, keep experimenting with. Yeah, that we keep screwing around with the <laughs> format on. And apparently everyone likes screwing around with the format. Uh, this like one it. this one was... Uh, how do you describe this one? Uh, it's stills and it's stick figures and it's text. That's yeah. it. Yeah, stills and... yeah. It, it, I mean, it's a very simple... And pod safe music. Cartoon? Uh, you don't wear pants. Yeah, I don't you, wear you pants in Just it. tell people that. That's, yeah, I don't wear pants in it. That's the teaser. Yeah, I don't wear pants. Okay. Um... But yeah, it's really good. Um, so we're gonna keep. <laughs> you want to, want to I, was, I was reading the chat room. Um, He's the big man. Yeah. Um, I just realized that I'm definitely just a floating head at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so go over and Chachi says dot net and check that out. Excellent. Uh, for me, hey, uh, baristas, we're shooting baristas. I have my first directorial credit Ooh. over there. Ooh. Ooh. Episode one over at thebaristas.com. Go check that out. Like Death of a Major. One. Well, okay, it's 12. It's the yes. first episode of this arc. Okay. Uh, Death of a Major Character. I saw one of the characters of the Baristas here. Just randomly in town? Just running. Yeah. Running. Next to my apartment. Wh- who? He was running next to my apartment. Who, who was it? Uh, Joel. Nice. Cool. Funky Dung, the answer to that question there. is not a lot. <laughs> So, if you want to spread the word and share it with everyone. Tell everybody about everything. Yes. About the Chachi Says, about that, about PodCamp. Uh, we're at AwesomeCast.com. Tell, tell your friends, because we want more people that ha- don't actually come on the show that'll listen to us, like Rob runs into randomly, apparently, um, and members of the Baristas. Um, check us out, AwesomeCast.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at AwesomeCast, and contact at AwesomeCast.com if you want to email us, 724-25-ACAST, 724-252-2278. And we're here every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You guys have been great in the chat room. Uh, we've had a bunch of people responding and everything. <laughs> hey, are really on to the Angry Birds, it seems. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's an awesome cast. I'm Sorg for Chachi and Rob. You guys have an awesome week. So, did you see my response to your uh, Nebraska comment on Twitter? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and I actually, uh, the, the one guy on the flyer, he asked if he wanted to be on the show. <laughs> Partly because he does geek core and, uh, or nerd core. And, oh, and partially because he played in Nebraska and I want to ask how Nebraska is. Um, That's right, get it out of your system. Mm. Yum. I said I would hardly count that as something happening in Nebraska. Oh, it was MC Crit or Matt Front a lot. Right, and and he's big. Yes. Okay, but at the same time, he's still at the point where people aren't begging him to come play shows. Like he's still at the point where he has to beg people to let him play shows the first time. Okay. Okay. So yeah. As far as something happening in Nebraska, this is barely something happening in Nebraska. I'm sorry. 
What are the? I'm, I'm have to look this up. I, we I, we need to it, since if we're gonna end up bashing Nebraska every week, we should get some facts, right? <laughs> Let's actually do some research about Nebraska. Twenty three people per square mile. Wait, wait, is that for real? Yeah. Not kidding. It is the forty third most dense state in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're good. Okay, okay. For your Nebraska fact of the week, we're good to go. That. It is 210 miles wide and 430 miles long. We do have some feedback from Mr. AJ. Um, any famous people from Nebraska? Nebraska. Um, It's all farming in Nebraska. Kool-Aid was created in 1927. In Nebraska? In the city of Hastings, Nebraska. And I'm celebrating with my lime margarita Kool-Aid. Uh, Actually, it's Walmart brand. Omaha is home of uh, home to Berkshire Hathaway, whose CEO, Warren Buffett, is obviously the a big hell? fucking deal. Catholics banned Girl Scout membership. Of course. Uh, home of Mutual of Omaha, obviously. No, uh. uh Union Pacific Railroad, that's a big deal. Uh, national headquarter for Cabela's, you know, the sporting goods store. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a total asshole in regard to my attitude towards Nebraska. That's but They're making it easy. They're but bragging. No. Like, their bragging rights are that Cabela's headquarters is that. Uh, really? website for Nebraska. Oh, the Huskers.com. Oh, my. Their largest city has 408,000 people in it. And let's, uh, let's compare and contrast. 408,000 compared to... I mean, Nebraska. 408,000 compared to... Eighty-nine percent of the cities in Nebraska have fewer than three thousand people. Entitled rural flight. There are, if you if you just count uh, the city of Pittsburgh, there is just about the same number of people as there are. Wait, so there's just as many people in Nebraska as the city of Pittsburgh? Let me check on that. If, if you count, um, the thing is, if you. The, the way Wikipedia puts it is the population of the city in 2010 was 305,000, while that of the seven-county metropolitan area stands at 2 million. So if we do that for Nebraska, the problem is it's a state, but what is the total population of Nebraska? That's what I want. Pop, 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 pop. Relation. 14. 14. <laughs> Oh, there were there were a few sections here that were uh, colored as less than one per square mile. Hmm. Uh, total population of the state of Nebraska as of two thousand nine is one point seven million. So the city of Pittsburgh metropolitan has twice the amount of people as there are in the entire state of Nebraska. And that's our fact for the week. Ooh, nice website. No. There's a lot of uh, white people in Nebraska. <laughs> or we have cookies anywhere Chachi, did you bring any any if anybody could deliver I me did. baked goods chachi if you throw the cookie if, at directly at the lens of the camera rob might feel it you it's really want me yummy. to throw a cookie no, at your no, lens? I don't. Uh, maybe at that camera but not at that one you sure not throw a cookie at the camera no you, <laughs> you're asking it's me. like serious about it should i actually here wait, 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 hold on a second hold on let me put it on you all right, All Rob, right. you ready? Yes. All right, get ready to catch this cookie. All right. Uh, 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 uh. You're really going to throw it? <laughs> no, I'm not going to throw a cookie. I'm going to fake throwing it. Okay. Ready? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, throw uh, it. Ah, uh, you missed. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, All right, try Rob. it again. Try it again. All right, one more time. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, do 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 kind of do a flick of the wrist. Ready? Wow! Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Dumbest thing I've ever done on the internet. I've done a lot of dumb things. I don't know that one week when you tried speaking into the microphone. Yeah, that's true. That was hilarious. It was like kind of, it was like kind of separated you. Really <laughs> awesome... I can still pick things out of your hair. Does Awesome you Cast have you its could. own app? No, we don't have an app. Uh, I was gonna say that would be bonus material. Catch the cookie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we've established our, our want for a bonus material. Yeah. Mm. You know, I, I I think we need should, should add a little more value. Uh, I like uh, bonus material. Okay, you know. My part. You know, I don't listen to any of the show except for the bonus material. <laughs> <laughs> what do you skip to the end to see what I put there? Yes, I do. I actually do. Seriously, you do that? I'm very serious. Yes. <laughs> Mostly, like my curiosity lies in not what an asshole I was during the show, but in what you thought was funny. Whoa. Was that me? <laughs> I think that was... Okay, I think we're good it? now. I don't know. We're a hamburger. If I could get a, a, a box that a, a box that has a half dozen hamburgers and a half dozen donuts. <laughs> Not like big hamburgers, but like little in and out burgers. You mean like uh, Burger King's new mini things? What? Yeah, yeah bur- they're like White Castle burgers. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they have them for burgers and chicken sandwiches. Can't be anywhere near as good. No, I'm sure they're not. But oh, now I want one castle. Look what you've done. Really, what? really. How long has it been since you had White Castle? Years, man. I've yeah. never had White Castle. Yeah. Fucking I did when I went castle. to Detroit with Kyle one time. Mm. I'm like, dude, we gotta find a White Castle. Like, so good. You know, it's almost like a Harold Kumar thing. We had to drive like way too far than you probably should have for White Castle, but we found one. Huh. My uh, when my dad was in college, there was one like down the road, and they would he would go. With, a couple of his friends, and they'd have to call ahead of time to make sure that they had enough burgers on hand, because they would be, there would be like four of them, and between the four of them, they would have like sixty White Castle hamburgers. They're they're called sliders, sliders. Well, yeah, I mean, slider is a general term for small burger. Right. Yeah. That's um, what they're called. But between the four of them, they would have like sixty little tiny hamburgers, huh. and like a, a a glass of Coke or whatever. But they'd have to call them up ahead of time and pre-order sixty hamburgers. Well, now that we're all hungry, um, let's do a show. No, I just ate. I'm, yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, uh, let me let me refill my. That's a good place. I, I like what we're doing now. Actually, I think we should just just let's bullshit just for the next hour, and let's release that, and see if anybody notices. <laughs> Nobody would notice. Nobody would notice. <laughs> we'll throw in occasional stories. Yeah. Like, like, hey guys, did you hear about that thing? Hey, yeah, yeah, the just, thing. You know about this thing that IBM's putting out? It's called a PC. PC. <laughs> what does that stand for? Personal computer. Private <laughs> concubine. Private concubine. Mm. Wow. When is a concubine not private? I guess when there's no. Uh, when it's a public concubine. Duh. Duh. You're just concubining on the corner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, for everybody to see your concubining needs and. Stuff. Wow. Wow. Okay. Just swinging my concubine in the wind. <laughs> All right, let's do a show. Yeah.